The Avengers, Star Wars, and the Marines are all on this day. Welcome back to On This Day. Today's date is May 4th, 2021. It is the 124th day of the year. We got 241 days left. It is the 19th week. It is the 46th day of spring. There are 48 days left until summer. If today's your birthday, your birthstone is an emerald. There are 61 days until the 4th of July, or Independence Day here in the States. Today is May 4th, so it is Star Wars Day. Star Wars Day seeks to celebrate all things Star Wars. Star Wars is a sci-fi space media franchise created by George Lucas. The original film Star Wars, retitled later on as Episode 4, A New Hope, premiered in 1977. The original book Star Wars from the Adventures of Luke Skywalker was first published in 1976. Since then, the Star Wars franchise has become the fifth highest grossing media franchise of all time. This day offers fans a chance to embrace the films, books, and everything else related to Star Wars. Now, I brought this one up last year, and I probably would have skipped it this year, but I didn't want all the Star Wars fans, and there's a lot of them out there, and they get a little silly sometimes. They would have been all over the comment section talking about I missed May 4th, Star Wars Day. So why'd they choose May 4th as the Star Wars Day? Because it sounds like May the Force be with you. May 4th, May the Force, get it? If you've never seen Star Wars, you know, I'll, I'll pray for you. But if you haven't, may the force be with you is like their tagline. That's how they greet people or say goodbye to each other. May the force be with you. All right, let's see what else May 4th has given us. 1776, Rhode Island becomes the first American colony to renounce allegiance to King George III. Yeah, they were the first one, Rhode Island. I think we made them a state because of that. It's like, you guys are gonna make the first step. You get a state. 1871, the National Association, the first professional baseball league, opens its first season in Fort Wayne, Indiana. How about that? They had another league before the Major League Baseball. Pretty cool. 1946 in San Francisco Bay, U.S. Marines from nearby Treasure Island Naval Base stopped two days of rioting at Alcatraz Federal Penitentiary. Five people were killed in the riots. But I don't think that's legal these days to actually send in federal military troops to stop a riot. Now, nah, maybe it is. I mean, they activated the army for the Rodney King riots in Los Angeles. Maybe it is. Just seems like it's kind of weird that they'll use Marines on what are essentially federal prisoners, citizens. Kind of weird. Anyway, moving on. Nineteen fifty nine, the first annual Grammy Awards are held and now they're under fire. Yeah. So the Grammy Awards, you know, it's music. It's the Music Academy Awards, basically. And uh, they're in a lot of hot water right now because a lot of people have noticed over the years that certain artists get skipped over that maybe should have gotten a bunch of awards. Like there's a guy right now called The Weeknd. That's what he goes by. And he was basically overlooked in the Grammys and he had one of the best selling albums of the last year. So turned into all this chaos. Well, it turns out the Grammy Awards have these secret committees that do the nominations for the Grammy. And then they figure out some other secret way to figure out who won the nomination. And it's always been secretive. So you really don't know what the criteria is to actually win something. Well, because of all the bad press and all the drama from this year, they've now eliminated the nomination committees and they're going to be more forthcoming with how they vote. You know, it should be who sold the most albums. Uh, they did a poll and the fans chose this person, something like that. But no, they just kind of did this little secret thing. So it's shady and people over the the years have always claimed that it was the record companies were actually paying to get their artists nominated. Now, I'd have no proof of that. That's just kind of what they've been talking about in the press and I've heard over the years. So who knows? But yeah, the Grammy Awards are supposed to be a little more straightforward for now on. But on this day in 1959, they had the first annual Grammy Awards. 1961, Malcolm Ross and Victor Prather attain a new altitude record for manned balloon flights ascending in a Stratolab 5 open gondola to 113,000 feet. Yeah, that's about 34.67 kilometers. Yeah, they went way up there. 1970, during the Vietnam War, the Kent State shooting. The Ohio National Guard sent to Kent State University after disturbances in the city of Kent the weekend before opens fire, killing four unarmed students and wounding nine others. The students were protesting the Cambodian campaign of the United States and South Vietnam. So this during the whole Vietnam War, if you don't know about the Kent State, they've I've heard some people call it a massacre and all this other stuff. There's only four people killed. I don't know if that really qualifies as a massacre, but the National Guard 
Guard opened fire on unarmed students, which is freaking horrible. And the National Guard took decades to live down that reputation and that incident. But it was pretty sad. Unarmed civilian students were gunned down because they were protesting a uh, obscene war. It's too bad. The pictures of that, I just read an article about, there's this famous picture of a dead student laying there and there's blood running down the street and there's a girl like in shock standing over him or kneeling over him and uh, they tracked her down and I did not know this, but the student who took that picture and her never met each other, even though this is like one of the most famous pictures of the Vietnam War or Vietnam era, they didn't meet each other till the mid 90s at some kind of function. It was the first time and they've shared this time and place and this incident all those years they never even knew each other. 1973, the 108 story Sears Tower in Chicago is topped at 1,451 feet as the world's tallest building. 1982, 20 sailors are killed when the British Type 42 destroyer HMS Sheffield is hit by an Argentine Exocet missile during the Falkland Wars. 1988, the Pepcon disaster rocks Henderson, Nevada, as tons of space shuttle fuel detonate during a fire. Yeah, I remember when that happened. That was pretty scary. 2014, three people are killed and 62 injured in a pair of bombings on buses in Nairobi, Kenya. Movies released on May 4th. There's been a bunch. Last year we talked about 16 Candles was released in the 80s and then the original Avengers movie was released on this day. So I think we're going to talk about something that's actually being released today on Disney Plus and that is a Star Wars thing. It's Star Wars so it makes sense May 4th but it is called Star Wars The Bad Batch. It's an animated series. A squad of elite clone troopers with genetic mutations called Clone Force 99 embark on a mission in the immediate aftermath of the Clone Wars. Follow Star Wars, this all makes sense to you. If it doesn't, I'm sorry. The series was created for Disney Plus. So if you don't have Disney Plus and you're a big Star Wars fan, now's the time to get it. They're not paying me to say that either. Born on May 4th, 1937, Dick Dale, American surf rock guitarist, singer and songwriter. This man can make a guitar do some strange things. If you ever get a chance, just up YouTube Dick Dale, listen to some of his music. It's amazing. Sadly, uh, Dick Dale died in 2019. Died on May 4th, 2020. We lost Don Shula, one of the greatest NFL head coaches we've ever seen. He was the head coach of the Baltimore Colts from 1963 to 1969, and then the Miami Dolphins from 1970 to 1995. He was a player. He played as a defensive back, and he was actually selected in the ninth round as the 110th pick in 1951 by the Cleveland Browns, of all people, my favorite football team. He played for the Baltimore Colts eventually, and then the Washington Redskins, then went on to be a coach. But he died last year on this day. All right, that's today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you got some information out of it. Now go forth, have a productive day, and be nice to each other.